Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. And we are now at the 40,000 subscriber mark. Shout out to all of you. Thank you so much for making this channel so much fun and enjoyable. So yeah, my name is Kelly and this is House of Virgo. Please keep in mind, this is a general love singles reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This might happen for you. It may not. Take it with a grain of salt. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. But all signs are welcome. Okay, Virgo. So, yep. Hope you had a great weekend. You have heart with a key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together, and perfect. So, Virgo, singles or Maybe you have someone that's blooming. Nothing is confirmed in stone yet, but here you go. Meeting someone, welcoming love, meeting the one, opening up your heart, getting together, and that feeling of, hey, we're perfect for each other. That's awesome, Virgo. So this is gonna be for June, the rest of June. Okay, talking, interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text, call, email, and well, hoovering, <laughs> someone very interested in talking to you in this month. Okay, let's see what else, one more card. Wow, amazing, you have the butterfly. Relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. Virgo, I mean, <laughs> this like, you can't get any better than this. I mean, this is definitely an energy of you're meeting someone you'll be talking to someone new let's find out a little bit more who is this person that virgo is going to be connecting with meeting who's coming towards virgo let's take a look virgo how exciting how exciting for you to be meeting someone that just fits you like a glove that's just amazing compatibility gosh that, that that whole I just feel it like your person your person I don't know Virgo I'm getting like really good love vibes the energies okay you've got the empress wow you know like so I'm gonna put this this is a feminine energy of course so <clears throat> for some of the guys out there you know or those of you who like the feminine energy this is like this is the person you want to connect with. This is someone who is very beautiful, very alluring, very attractive, takes very good care of herself. Um, she has a, uh, could be a Libra or a Taurus. She has, uh, man, she's all about beauty. She's all about abundance. Um, she represents like even good parent. She's a good parent. She has maybe children or she's someone that, you know, pregnancy this is like I want you to have my baby <laughs> kind of energy now as far as like it being uh, a masculine energy this is someone who um, it, it will be viewing you in that way if you are the feminine okay and all of that energy now let's see I love it it's it's if, if anything if it's not uh, representing a person just the energy of the empress is like creating something new and having this beautiful new beginning all right let's see what else you have Virgo all right I did see that okay so Queen of Swords so Gemini Libra Aquarius um, okay definitely picking up some double Libra energy here but I will tell you that there is going to be like a lot of communication and talking with you and this person between you and this person let me just see here okay now we've got gemini so the knight of wands queen of cups okay some of you are going to meet this person through a friend if you haven't already met them um but you know virgo it just feels like some of the okay, for some of you this could be a same-sex relationship but i also want to tell you that like i mean there's so much passion here between passionate conversations and so much deep feelings someone coming towards you um and it's all like this new beginning energy with the magician and the empress um we also have cancer scorpio pisces i'm not going to get too much into the signs because i just kind of feel like that might confuse you a little bit but i do feel like um 
some of you are going to be connecting or talking to two different people also as well but we're not going to get into this these two different people if you've got two different people and you're trying to figure out who's going to be the better match for you, you could always book a personal reading with me the link is below but let me just see here and one more card on this queen of cups okay so there's a lot of travel involved in this connection with this person. So they may be at a distance to you. Now, when I say a distance, I'm not talking like necessarily, it doesn't have to be like a very far distance. Um, but I see this person, um, I guess I want to say like driving, driving to you. I mean, maybe they're on a horse, who the heck knows, but there's definitely some change an action I mean I feel like this person you meet is one of those people who they, they they don't they don't wear their heart on the sleeve they're very deep emotional and and caring type of a person very lovely energy um, but I feel like they are someone who knows what they want and you know they know what they're after they're not out here just being flaky and just kind of seeing where you know like this person is determined like there's determination with this person to um connect okay and i'm feeling like there's going to be some communication between you and this person and i'm just hearing this person saying they're willing to they, they have no problem driving in a distance or you know flying somewhere like i, I just kind of get a sense of like a long distance kind of thing so yeah there's, there's definitely some time, distance, mileage between you and this person. And it looks like they're the one who's going to be doing all the driving uh, to connect with you. Like It's like, yes, I'll be in my car. Yes, I'll come and meet you. I'll, I'm definitely coming. Okay, so it's a very good energy. I like it. Now, let me see what else can you tell Virgo about this person. Okay, wow. Well, they're definitely single. And this is the fool that starts the major arcana. And I feel like this person has a very free spirit and they're a risk, like they're okay with taking some kind of a risk, you know? I, I just feel like this person is just very free. They come in single, they have no attachments, they have no baggage, any baggage they have is very minimal um, coming to connect with you. So I feel like this is someone who travels lightly. <laughs> they're not a per like, I mean, even literally like a backpack. They don't pack massive amounts of suitcases. This person is just a very free spirited person and carefree. Um, like they're, they're a very hopeful, very positive person. They don't see um, things that could go wrong. You know, even even this little doggy here is like, hey, 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 be careful. You can go off that cliff. I mean, this person has such a positive outlook on life, very carefree, maybe even a little foolish, but they're just, I don't see, Virgo, I think they'd be good for you because it's not someone who really worries about anything. You know, they're not a worrier. They're not even a deep thinker. You know, it's not that they don't have a brain. It's just that they know when to like, they know not to go too far down the rabbit hole with things. They're just very happy and joyous. You know, I love this energy. And again, with this fool, I feel like it's someone who travels, you know, so you're connecting, you'll be connecting with someone, I feel like at a distance. And tell me more, um, or at least tell Virgo more about this person. Okay. So we got three queens. So, okay. Let me see. Oh, what are they going to like about Virgo? That's what they're asked. That's what they want you to... What are they going to like about you? Okay. Well, definitely... A tr so there's something here they're saying to me that you two are very different in your approach in life. Okay. Virgo, very practical, pragmatic, <laughs> very um, dedicated, consistent. You're a realist. Um, you're not a negative person, but you might not be someone who's like jumping off rooftops and joy. You know, you're pretty level headed. So the energy between the two of you, um, you're grounded. This person's like kind of up in the air, you know, um, while this person is all about the adventure, getting on the plane and, and taking the trips and traveling, Virgo's like, well, hold on, let, let, let me see if I can find discounted tickets. You know, they're, they're two very different energies. But I think what this person like or will like about you is that you um, are a good decision maker. You're, 
it's something like, I don't know, they're just saying you have the ability to, to ground this person. I don't know what that means. It just, I don't know, Virgo, I just kind of feel like this person like, will like the differences between you is that you bring stability to the relationship. Okay. So, I mean, you know, it's whatever. Um, and that you are kind of like someone who, um, you're good at making decisions and you're good at compromising about things. I don't know. This is weird. It's just like an aspect of you that I feel like this person will really like about you, right? I mean, I know, um, well, let, let me see. What, what would this person find like physically attractive about Virgo? What this person find physically attractive about Virgo? Mm. <laughs> okay, so uh, they're just, I don't know who this is for, but they're just telling me um, you're back. <laughs> you're back? What a strange message. Something about your, your back. I don't know if it's your muscles or like the curvature of your back. That's such a weird message. Um, you know, I don't know. It feels very sensual. Um, okay. Well, hold on a minute. Is this, is this going to be like a physician? Somebody's telling me this. They're telling me this person's like a physician or something. Like they're, they really care about the body. I don't know where this, I don't know where this reading is going. Okay. Let me just see. They're saying this person is like, um, I don't know, a healer, a physician. Okay. For this, this person is um, a gift giver. They like to give gifts. Oh, okay. Some of you are going to get like a butterfly tattoo on your lower back somewhere. Like at least from the middle of your back down, your lower back down. Or maybe you already have that. Okay, or this person has that. There's something, yeah, there's, there's just something about the, the lower back. Okay, let me see. Okay, you know what? I just want to ask, like, tell Virgo more about this person coming towards them. And when, okay. Okay, well, you know, I mean, as far as like what they're like, I do get a sense that this person is a little miserly in the sense where they are very care. It's weird because they're such a free spirit, yet they have a handle on their finances. They really do. Um, and I think that's what the, will be attractive to them about you as well, because you guys will definitely have that in common. Um, I don't know why that is important. I don't feel like this is someone who... Um, is all about the money or in other words someone who's like gonna connect with you if you have money if you're one of those people that has like a lot of money I don't feel like this is someone who's gonna live off you know they're only connecting with you for the money I don't feel that way about them if anything I feel it's quite the opposite I feel like this person is um, very good at balancing their money and um, but they live their life like their money they make it work for them but they live their life so that they can enjoy the fruits of their labor but they don't they're not someone who like spends crazily and then they're broke you know what i mean this is someone who's like okay well i have this much to spend and then i'm gonna go with virgo and you know or I, i'm just someone who um, i have this much to spend but i'm gonna spend it all on this amazing adventure you know like it's this type of a person i don't know why this is significant like to me it doesn't even matter but to some of you this might be very significant to you in some way what else does virgo need to know and the other thing too virgo i feel like this person has very deep like lusty um passions you know like this is not someone who is um <laughs> i just want to say like a prude okay um and they also take care of their parents yes they take either they take care of their parents or some elderly people um 
but they also I feel like they might do something in a job of some sort where they help the homeless or people who struggle or maybe the volunteer or something along those lines and I feel like that has like I don't know if this doctors without borders or someone who is a physician and they go and they do all this really cool you know humanitarian kind of stuff especially if it's an Aquarius that would fit and let's see when is this person coming towards Virgo? Now, obviously, this is a June reading, but we will see more specifically when this person, just so you know, they're like completely single. I'm feeling like this person is completely single. When and where is Virgo going to meet this person? Oh, okay. So it's definitely going to be in July. Okay. Um, it's going to kick off July. And I feel like you're going to meet this person. They're giving me a couple of different places, but I will say it's, it's somewhere fun. Okay. So if you're going somewhere or you're doing something fun in July, if you're going to a theme park, you'd be out at the beach. Um, maybe you're sailing or surfing, um, in July or at some kind of outdoor fun event. Yes, you will connect with this person there and it will be, um, you know, I mean, it's kind of cliche. Let me see if I can get more specific. Okay, so they're saying it's a, it might be somewhere along where there's a lot of children. There will be a lot of children in the area. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> On the water. So the sun and the sand and the water is what I'm picking up. And, um, Could be like if you're going boating also if you're doing some boating um or some kind of family event i'm picking up where there's children you will connect with this person now this isn't going to be for all of you okay so keep that in mind um but do get out there and have fun in july um it's really going to kick off in the in the middle of the of the summer so i know like some of you are in the southern hemisphere um, and where it might be cold. So it could be an indoor event with a lot of lighting as well that has kind of like um, a fun aspect or a theme, fun theme park kind of aspect to it. If you're in a cold climate, um, yeah, it's definitely gonna be some kind of a party where they have drinks and um, it feels very, like for the majority of you, like an outdoor event um, could be a concert or somewhere that's on along on the water um, or a parade or some, you know something along those lines where they have like craft tables or food and drinks and stuff like that I'm seeing um, mostly though a boat like a boat if you're going on a cruise somebody might be going on a cruise I do feel like you may connect with someone on a cruise or you may already be connecting with this person right now as you're listening to this and going on a cruise together okay in July together together and having a damn good time okay yes there you go so this is definitely some kind of um, outdoor type of celebration Okay. Um, yes, definitely. Some type of like with family, friends, reunions, parties, um, outdoor tents, that kind of thing. Anywhere in the world, really. Uh, and they're not giving me like a real specific place, but I will tell you it's warm. It, it's a very warm place. Even if you're in a cold climate, it will be somewhere um, where you go somewhere warm. Even when it's cold, it's still warm. Okay, that's kind of what I'm picking up. Um, let me see. Okay, yeah, there's kids and there's games. Oh my gosh, there's kids and there's there's children. It doesn't have to be your children. You may not even have kids or anything like that. There's a lot of kids, there's games. Um, reunion type of thing. Um, Again, with this like friendship circle of support um, maybe you're going to like one of those gaming con type things you're attending or something along those lines I mean it's gonna be it looks exciting <laughs> I mean it looks exciting I feel like um, somebody's gonna either you're gonna see this person as like the most 
handsome, the most beautiful, the most attractive person you've ever met. There's going to be like this goddess, god type energy hanging around this person where there's this allure that it's just going to be very surprising. It's going to be very surprising. And I, you know what, Virgo, if you don't have plans for July, go out and make some plans for July. That's all I got to say. Let me see what else is coming towards you here. So it could be a Leo as well, but you know, we do have, so we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, not much in the way of fire, um, not much in the way of fire. So I'm not really picking up, it, it's low on the percentage line of it being a fire sign. It's not that it, they can't be, but okay. So you've got no contact, huh? Some of you are in no contact. And because of that, an emotional wish is being granted. So some of you are not talking to someone you have like dipped out. You are in no contact with someone. You're not getting calls. You're not receiving text messages. You completely have just, you're done. You're out, sayonara, bye Felicia, bye Felipe. You're done. You're not engaging, no contact. Can't reach out to you. You're not reaching out to anyone. And because of that, you're creating this space for love to come in and for you to engage with somebody new here. Or if you already are and you're in no contact, I feel like you're getting some type of wish being granted here. It's a nine of cups here as well. So definitely communication and talking. Someone becoming very smitten with you in, um, starting now or starting in July. Okay, so between now and July, what is today? Today is June 11th. Yes, beginning now. Okay, future plans and choosing a path. Wow, Virgo. So it really just feels to me like you um, have just put the brakes on something at some point before, and it feels to me like you're going to be talking to somebody new who just really has a key to your heart. It's just gonna be someone that just really fits you like a glove that you and you and this other person may feel like, oh my gosh, this is like my perfect person and kind of make you look back on somebody else. And if, so for some of you, this might just be a, a scenario where you, you get to compare and see what you've actually been missing. So if, I mean, obviously if you're in no contact with someone from before, obviously there's like a detrimental reason for that, that something must have happened or something wasn't good and allowing yourself to open yourself up to somebody new that's wholesome and maybe more refreshing and not what you were dealing with before can really kind of give you an eye-opening feeling of, I can't believe I've been missing out on the real deal here. You know what I mean? Some of you might just decide now after listening to this, you know what? I am going to go no contact and put that behind me and uh, open myself up and just go enjoy my life the next, at least through this new season here, this June through August season. Okay. So I, let me see. I just want to get a couple of um, Romance Angels cards to see what else Spirit wants you to know about this situation here I mean you're definitely with a butterfly you I mean there's definitely a relationship it will evolve you will meet someone if you don't already know them and this will evolve to another a, a new a next phase you know going no contact to heal and have growth and uh, get yourself back out there it's, it's just and I'm not saying like getting out there and just getting into a dating event. I mean, this is just going out and having fun. This is living your life, being happy, attending some social events, even if you only go to two or you go to 20, whatever. There, there's definitely, you're gonna come across people. You're gonna, and definitely gonna come across someone specific who, I don't know. You know, I just always feel like this page of wands always reminds me of like, the spark that lights the kindling, you know, to get something started here. And that's what I feel like a spark. You will be experiencing that with someone. 
All right, what's this? Oh, look, enjoying the bliss of holiday time together. So for some of you, this could be like, you know, a holiday in July. So I know here in the United States, we have the 4th of July and Independence Day. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any other holidays. I mean, Canada Day is on July 1st. I mean, there's a couple other things going on. There's something going on in France. But, you know, whatever, even if it's just not a holiday, but you and this person, like, I'm just picking up some cruise energy, but you and this person, um, look, here's like a boat, spending some time together, enjoying the bliss of what might feel like a holiday together, a week, a weekend. Um, I don't know. It's going to feel like you're on a holiday. Yeah, here's attraction. Wow, Virgo. Virgo, I don't know what you're doing. If you're like completely single and you don't have a situation that's blooming, um, you just going and just doing your fun things with family, friends, attending some type of events of some sort. And you and just there you are staying optimistic, going out and having a good time. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. I feel like you're definitely going to be attracting someone to you, staying optimistic, positive thinking and faith bringing you romance. I mean, I love this, Virgo. I love that somebody's you're going to start talking to someone. Um, okay. Of course, as always, Virgo, paying attention to the red flags, <laughs> get it while well, getting to know each other. Virgo, I feel like you got it down pat now. I feel like you are, um, you're not a careless risk taker. I feel like you still got that edge. I feel like you still have an edge, but now you're going to be kind of like, um, a little more cautious in the sense of like, I'm not going to take a risk until I really get to know this person. And then when I feel comfortable and safe and I feel like, you know, they're not some kind of like, I don't know, serial killer or something then I'm going to like, you know, go for it. So I feel like you've been through, um, you've been through it, Virgo. And I feel like you, like you're not like, I don't feel like you're, What's the word I'm looking for? I don't feel like you're going to be looking for red flags on purpose. I just feel like you're aware. And um, when you're talking to someone, I don't feel like you're going to get your hopes up crazy high. I don't know that you're even like that. I think you might just be more along the lines of like, oh, this is awesome. Um, I am just going to keep my eyes open, but at the same time, I'm going to balance it with like really having a good time and enjoying myself, spending time with this person. So, I mean, I, f I like that. You're not like, if you feel like you meet someone and all you see are red flags or you're conjuring up red flags, or you're fearful of the red flags, you're probably not ready. So this is for someone who's kind of like, you know, I can, I can, I can keep my my eyes peeled but I can also have um a wonderful time getting to know someone as well like I'm not going to be scared yeah so you've learned the lesson okay now you are the master of things you um if someone is unavailable you're gonna know it and you're not gonna chase that down I don't feel like this person is coming in that way but I feel like you you're not I, I guess I just want to say like like, I feel like they keep telling me you're not going to waste time, you know, um, you're not going to like sabotage anything and you're not going to, um, unnecessarily, if you're, you're going to call a spade a spade, if you, you're, you're open to dating, but if you find out that someone is like not going to be emotionally, or at least uh, it's not going to be available. It doesn't mean necessarily emotionally, but someone who just doesn't have the time, for a relationship then you're going to call it pretty quick like nip it in the bud right but i don't see that here with this person okay and i feel like for you you know you, your healing journey i mean that's a lifetime we're always healing we're always learning we're always on this journey okay but you are more so in that mindset now where if anything comes up you're going to pay attention to it and this might be some kind of healing experience for you as well for some of you you may need to just you know of course keeping your wits about you but 
I feel like something about being in this new relationship or making this connection with this person will be very healing. Um, and that's interesting. Apology. So this says you can expect the apology you want to hear. For Virgo, I feel like some of you, this is about apologizing to your inner child or apologizing to yourself for... I feel like a lot of you owe yourselves an apology <laughs> and you need to forgive yourself. This is not so much someone else apologizing. Even if they do, they might. But this is more so about you needing to forgive yourself and just say, you know, I'm an imperfect person and I'm just doing the best I can. I'm doing the best I can to be the best person I can be. And I'm not going to blame myself entirely for all the world's problems. I'm not that important. I'm just over here doing my thing, trying to live my life. Lots of stuff going on in the world. And I make mistakes. And sometimes I make good decisions and sometimes I don't. And I'm going to forgive myself for those bad decisions. I'm going to apologize to myself for those wrong turns. And I've, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm learning the lesson from them. You know, I, I don't feel like this is more so someone apologizing to you as it is you apologizing to yourself, you know, for, I don't know, maybe you blame yourself for a relationship not working out, or maybe you blame yourself for who the heck knows. Um, some of you, maybe you just blame yourself entirely you know um, it takes two to tango Virgo and understand that um, nobody is perfect the other person's not and neither are you and don't take it all upon yourself to blame yourself entirely if you're in that place to say it's all of my fault <laughs> everything I did was wrong I mean no if, if you were making a specific decision at a specific time and in hindsight now you realize that wasn't the right decision, well, don't blame yourself because at the time, maybe with what you knew and what you had to work with, that was the best you could arrive at. And don't blame yourself for that, right? Your intuition, you already know the answer you seek is showing up here. Trust your intuition, Virgo, when it comes to new love. Okay, interference an external party is intruding on this relationship you know what Virgo you know what this is this is the interference of yourself I know it's crazy but in context the external party is that little voice within you that wants you to not progress and not heal and you need to like see that as something that is separate to you that is not who you are there's always going to be these little attacks you know and there's always going to be that little voice always for even the best of people that little voice wherever it comes from I don't know where it originates but there's always going to be that voice that's going to say you know no you can't do this no you shouldn't do this it's a very judgmental voice and it's not your voice learn to um, separate your voice from those other interfering voices I'm not saying you have voices in your head <laughs> but there's these tapes sometimes that run through our heads that actually are on a loop that sometimes they could come from our environment growing up they could come from family members or parents or certain people or things that have been said to us or teachers or you know people who have who had influence on us that we've just had we have this tape rolling maybe past relationships or a particular relationship you were in that with someone that wasn't very nice you know and wasn't um supportive you know, you might have this, this little loop, this tape on loop. It's of their voice, but somehow you've absorbed it and called it your own. Now you need to push that away. That's not, that's not your voice. Find your voice, trust your intuition. And you've got, cause you have true love here. Okay. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional love for yourself. And this situation involving here is very beautiful, Virgo, very beautiful. So it, it's very healing. It's going to help you heal. Okay, because you got like some loose ends, maybe, you know, maybe you got away from something with that no contact and you've given yourself this, this time. But, you know, people are like, oh, I'm afraid to get in another relationship. Well, love, love is healing. Always it's healing. You know, love does, love heals the world. So, I mean, 
I feel like if you're fearful, that's probably that interfering voice that's telling you, be scared, be scared, you're not ready, you're not ready. You know, when you connect with someone, allow it to happen organically and naturally. And I think that will help you heal. At least that's what I'm getting here. Okay, Virgo. Um, let me just get a couple of charms and I'm gonna end out the singles reading. Oh, oh, cards are going everywhere. Let's see. Okay, wow. Hold on, I get a sneeze. I'll tell you, if it's not the allergies, it's the smoke. And then if it's not the smoke, it's the allergies. The smoke as in Canada wildfire smoke. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So you have a dice, a die. Okay. Maybe you're going on some kind of casino trip or you guys are going to Vegas, somewhere where it's warm. Um, the roll of the dice here. Um, this is something, a risk, definitely. Um, I don't know. There's something about this relationship, though, I feel is going to be a little unorthodox for you, this person that you're going to connect with. They're not exactly, they're not you, Virgo. They have a little bit of an edge. You have a little bit of an edge, but you're much more grounded than this person. Um, some of you are going like, I don't know, you're going to some kind of casino, maybe of some sort or doing, or you have a connection to that, but this is also like, um, you're rolling the dice and see, uh, I'm just hearing, they're saying, uh, okay, somebody who's listening here has a decision to make about something, and they're saying, roll the dice, roll the dice to give you your answer. I don't know what that means. Maybe you're trying to pick a number or a date for something. They're saying, roll the dice and let that be the answer. And you also have an angel feather, Okay, so yeah, Virgo, I just feel like if you see a feather, and they're also giving me something here, it's weird, I'm seeing a cobra, so I don't know if a cobra rep will represent something, but um, if you see a feather, like a single feather somewhere on the ground, that's your message here. This message is for you more than anything. I don't know why, I'm also, yeah, I just keep seeing a cobra, which is very bizarre, so. What does a cobra mean for you, Virgo? Um, you know what? Just a real quick thing before I end it. I just wanted to do a couple of um, mirror oracle. Oops. Just what message, what other message does Virgo need to have here from a mirror's oracle? Okay, obstacles, blocks, pathways, and delays. That's something connected to this roll the dice thing. Like I said, there's some kind of situation, Virgo, that I feel like there's an obstacle. They're just saying, leave it to fate. Let, let fate decide. Okay, so you've got twin flame here. Okay, maybe there's like an issue with a twin flame. Just let fate decide, roll the dice. But for some of you, this is connecting with a, a spiritual twin flame, a relationship that's effortless. Effortless. If, it, if it's not effortless, it's not for you. Just keep that in mind. Like, I know sometimes maybe you get confused. You don't understand why something's not progressing. If it's not effortless in the sense that it just doesn't progress effortlessly, then it's not meant to be. If it progresses effortlessly and it's just beautiful and it all comes together in sync, then it's meant to be. Oh, okay. Well, some of you are going to be connecting with a very with a young male. Okay. Uh, sporty, into cars, youthful or youthful looking. Okay. You know, it's funny because when I had the chariot, that sometimes can represent a new car. So this person might be a race car driver or they have a brand new car. Or they're into cars or they work in the car industry as well. Show, somebody showing up in a convertible also. Okay, wow, fun times. Parties, events, and having fun. I'm telling you, Virgo. You got summer loving happened so fast. I met a girl. 
crazy for me. Met a boy, cute as could be. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I should just bleep this out, shouldn't I? I should. I shouldn't sing in my readings. I'm just... I don't know what's wrong with me, but this this is the vibe. It's a summer love. It's a healing, fun summer love. I don't know if it's going to be forever and ever and ever. But I do feel like, Virgo, this is going to be something you need, perhaps. Just someone, a summer love affair, something wonderful and beautiful and, and something very healing. Okay, okay, we're done. Oops, I'm hitting things. So yeah, if you guys want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. All right, you guys have a fantastic evening, fantastic start to your week, and I will see you all back here tomorrow.